Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Today we're gonna be talking about bodybuilding and how it's actually person building. Yeah, take a few seconds to let that sink in. In order to get that body that you want, you have to build a person that does the things necessary to get that body. And so I want to talk about this from a few different angles, but let's start like this. If you could just change overnight and get my body or the female equivalent of that, which by the way would not be a manly looking woman, it would be a fucking hot woman with a great fucking ass and legs and small waist and nice shape to her upper body. Just so you know, I'm gonna have to make a new video on how women should train to look good and not get too bulky, but anyway, if you were a man or a woman and could wake up with a body like that, um, yeah, what does that sound like you? Changing overnight like that. Because I'm thinking to a lot of you, that sounds fucking great, like, right? Yeah, I could just keep being a fat ass or lazy <laughs> little person and just get that body and I don't have to uh, train and I don't have to change my diet or... Yeah, sounds great. But I'm gonna tell you why it's not great. Like, think of a lottery winner. Like, why do you think so many lottery winners end up going broke? Well, it's because it, they just had a huge amount of money dumped on them, but they never learned the skills necessary to acquire that amount of money. And it would be the same with your body. Of course, you can't just, but you should be happy that you can't just win a dream body like that, because the same thing would happen. You would not have learned what is necessary to get that body. You would not have become that person during the process that is necessary to get that body. And so you would slowly see your body wither away. So it's this, it's understanding that it's not possible to get the what you want without changing who you are, but it's this too, that you would not appreciate it. Like, yeah, the initial joy of just seeing you look jacked in the mirror would give a big dopamine hit, just as a huge amount of money just dropped on you would, but deep down you would know that you don't deserve this. Like, you, you don't appreciate things that you just get for free. You know that you don't deserve it. You did nothing to get this. It would just was giving to you and you don't appreciate it. But if you build this body through hard work and dedication, changing your habits, going through struggles, having having to say no to things you would, um, by habit, would like to say yes to and becoming this person that as a result of that has this body, then you would love that. You would know that you would, um, deserve that and you would have great self-esteem because you know within you how much it took, how awesome of a person you are that went through these things necessary to get that body. So, yeah, well, you know, if you've been following the channel, I never got into this because, yeah, I just want to get jacked. I want to get ripped. I want to build muscle and have low body fat. You know, it was actually that I felt like shit because I was a completely different person that just went for instant gratification, playing video games all day or binge watching series, junk food, getting drunk girls, weed, whatever, you know, whatever lazy hedonistic pleasure, you know, that, that led to that skinny fat little bitch in the, you always see in the comparison picture, you know. And so I, yeah, it was just that when I, through the process of just wanting to feel better, when I finally started having tr chronic panic attacks, that was enough. I had enough. I knew I have to fucking change. And it was when I just started training and eating better for health, but I noticed that, yeah, working on yourself, building a body, um, it's a great tool for self-development. That's really what it is. It just so happens that it has a connection with what you look like. And if you think about it, of course, you know, the reason we think certain bodies look good, well, it might be a bit exaggerated now from the social media, like perfect pictures, you know, you take 100 pictures, upload one, or even airbrushed Photoshop pictures. Yeah, of course, our perception might get a little skewed, uh, skewed of what's possible, but it's still exaggerating something that we find beautiful and attractive to start with. And that's because we know that, is, that this body is an expression of good health, and but not only good health, good character, more discipline, you know, uh, priorities. It's an expression of all this. And so this is what I got, got into bodybuilding. And now, of course, I just think it's fun to, to treat my uh, body like kind of a sculpture. But it's for completely different reasons now. Back in the day when I was younger, the only reason I would have seen to work out is, yeah, I'll impress guys and I'll be attractive to girls. But I, that, I didn't have the intrinsic motivation because I really just wanted, you know, the validation. Uh, uh, I, I didn't appreciate uh, the traits that come with building a body like this. It was not something. I, I was a lazy little piece of shit, you know. But now it's a completely different thing. And then you can actually appreciate the way you look, in that, uh, even in that way, you know. Like, yeah, I'm happy by, about the way I look. Uh, I like what I see in the mirror. I know that other people think I'm attractive. But it's really, it comes second to this, that you appreciate what going through the process 
building a body like this, what it may, what kind of person it makes you become. Do you understand? And so that's why I call it bodybuilding in lack of a better word. And it is like on, on the surface, yeah, we are building a, a nicer looking body too, but we're not like me or probably you who follow me. You don't, you're not looking uh, to become a bodybuilder with a spray tan, uh, or taking steroids and standing on stage. No, you just um, want to look good and feel good and be strong. And so you have to understand, uh, you should be grateful that you can't get that for free because uh, if you got just the body for free, you would not get what you're uh, looking for, really. Like, we, we all get fooled. It's like how I used to think. Uh, I, I didn't really care about having a girlfriend. I just wanted sex. But it was really love I was looking for, right? We, we just, um, the world manipulates us. It's the same thing. Oh, no, no. Uh, so, the girl I know I've mentioned on this channel before that I talked to, she really couldn't understand when I tried to tell her, like, okay, but why do you think you... Because she was talking about doing liposuction and stuff but I was like okay but why do you think you want to look a certain way could it be that it's an expression of good health and that's why we think that looks good but she was so disconnected from this she's like no I don't care about that I just want to look good I just want to be hot you know but when look beyond that you see it's a clear connection uh, you look hot because uh, it, it, it's an expression of being a hot person, a, a strong-willed person, a disciplined person, a person with good morals, with good priorities, that does the right thing no matter what, what does that it, what it takes to get this body. So I think I'll end this little rant here. I just want to make that clear for you, that think you just want to get that body. It's not really, if you just get, got the body uh, somehow, like, be glad that you can't, because that's not really what you're looking for. You wouldn't appreciate it. Just as a lottery winner, they, they would like, if you have it, if you go from having no money to just having millions and millions, like, they're, they're, it's worthless now. It's worthless now, and you end up spending it just trying to, like, fill the void, and eventually you sit there with a bunch of stuff, and you have no money. You go bankrupt, you have to sell the stuff. Well, be happy that this can't happen with your body that you can't just be given this body. You have to build it. And in order to build that body, you have to become that kind of person that has that body. So, yeah. Well, as of recording this video, almost all my coaching slots for next year are filled up. I'm doing this uh, uncommon sense bodybuilding that I call it, but it's, again, it's more about building a person, building the person that has a body like that. But if you're interested, I might have one or two slots, depending on what some people tell me. But please contact me via my Instagram or email. It's all linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, we can set up a call and see if we're a good match to do this together. Okay, guys, I will see you later. Please like, please comment. What did you think? Uh, please leave a comment anyway. All the likes and comments help support the channel. Very much uh, appreciated. Please subscribe for more content, self-improvement advice, um, bodybuilding advice, building muscle, losing fat advice, a little uncommon sense, philosophical takes on everything you can imagine. Okay, guys, I will see you later. Peace.